Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to take a look at the CVE 2023-42793 and this relates to JetBrains Team City and the authentication bypass that leads to remote command execution. So this affects versions before 2023-054 and it's very very simple. It's just three curl commands you need to do to do this and yeah, it, it is that simple. It's one you're not going to find really on the internet. Um, if you do, you'd be very lucky. It's probably more likely to be a honeypot. Um, but this is something you might still find on internal pen tests because it may be a bit of an effort to upgrade uh, Team City. Or people just haven't really taken notice of the news, I guess. It could also be the case. In terms of write-ups, there's there's lots of um, automation ready for this. Um, so this isn't new or exciting what I'm showing you, but the curl commands might be interesting if you have issues because you might have to do some manual work to potentially get it working. Um, sometimes the like user agent can cause an issue potentially, uh, which might stop it. Uh, so maybe doing the manual workaround could help you. So um, yeah, lots of great work write-ups, including from JetBrains themselves. They're very verbose and honest about what happened, which is great. Um, but I'm going to take a look at this repo here. Um, I don't know ZenMovie, um, but thank you for writing it in Bash because I can read it nice and easily. <laughs> um, so here we go. We have three commands we need to run, or sorry, three endpoints we need to hit. The first one is the tokens endpoint. This will get us our token, which we need to use and append to the next two commands. The second endpoint we're going to hit is uh, the HTML file data there. And here we're going to go ahead and change the uh, debug process enable to true. So this is what gets our output from running commands. And lastly, this is where we actually run the commands, the debug processes. So um, I can say very, very simple, very, very easy to do. So let's run through the curl commands. So here's my handy dandy note. Uh, ready to go. So we have the three curl commands here. Just quickly show you my team city. So this is my team city set with just one user. So just the admin. And we look at the commands here. So we're going to hit the endpoint, like we say. Uh, this ID colon one, this means the first user get there, get taken for this user. So let's do that. Let's paste that in. Now, but here you can see. The token, so let's grab that. Let's go back to our notepad here. Change the X for the token. So this part here, we're gonna go ahead and change the internal properties config item. So rest debug process enabled from false to true. So this is gonna be what allows us to get our output from running commands. So let's get this going. No output, that seems to be good, no error. And lastly, we're going to run our command. So we need to add our token to this last one. And we're going to go ahead and hit the debug processes endpoint, um, XEPath ID. So we get the ID. So let's do that. And there we have it. We have co uh, command execution on the Team City server. So let's just run something like ls to see some more information. Uh, so I know this is a, a a Linux box I'm running it across, um, but it, it could be the case it's Windows, so you might have to change your commands to be more Windowsy. Um, but there we go. That's all there is to it. So as I said, it's not likely to be on the internet unless you hit honey parts. So if you're hitting honey parts, yeah, you could be wasting your time. If it's internal and it's unpatched, this is very simple to exploit, as you've seen. And uh, yeah, it's a critical one for companies that need to get it fixed. Awesome. Thanks for watching. I um, hope it's useful. It's definitely helpful for me because I found this on a Synax target very recently. Um, couldn't get some automation to work. I had to do some manual debugging on the, cur the commands. Turns out that um, the issue was, it was patched. It was not the case that it was being blocked or anything like that because of uh, like anything in front of it. But um, it was good to understand it. Thank you.